everyone, welcome back to Beauty by Violet. Today I'm going to be doing a really coppery um, eye makeup tutorial. And I kind of kept the lips and cheeks so that you can wear it during the day. Um, but it, you could actually wear it at night too if you threw on a pair of darker lashes. The eyes are just really, really copper and um, there's a lot of different gradients of brown in it also. The cheeks are kind of a mauve color, and then the lips, I just did a lip pencil and a gloss so that you could wear it during the day. All the products that I'm going to use you can find on my website, beautybyviolet.com. If you want to see how I did this really coppery, sultry makeup tutorial, just keep watching. So as always, I'm just going to start with the eyes first, and I'm just going to apply the NARS Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base from the lash line all the way up to the brow, and then underneath the lower lash line. So I'm going to start out with the color Shroom and just a flat stiff shader brush and I'm just going to apply some of that underneath the brow, just right on the brow bone as a highlighter and then also to the inner part of the eye, so the inner corner just to open up the eye area. Then just using a pencil brush I'm going to go in with the color Corduroy which is a reddish brown and I'm just going to apply that in the crease. And I'm going to go all the way in to the nose with this. And you just want to really blend that color out. You want to just keep reapplying that color and blending so that you get a nice gradient. Just using a flat stiff shader brush. We're going to go in with the color Coppering from MAC, which is just a copper color. We're going to place that right on the lid. Just going up to the crease. Now we're going to create another gradient of color in the crease. And we're going to use the color Espresso and our pencil brush again draw a line right in the crease going all the way into the nose then just pick up your 217 brush and blend that out then we're going to go in with the color texture from MAC and a 217 brush and just blend out that crease color Then take that color again texture and a pencil brush and just run it underneath the lower lash line then I'm just going to take a small smudger brush and the color sketch and I'm going to run that very very close to the lash line I'm going to use a gel liner and this is um, uh, a fluid line from MAC and it's in the color Dip Down which is a dark chocolate brown and then just any cold pencil and run that in the lower lash, lower water line. Then I'm going to use uh, the Black Track Fluid Line from MAC and just an angled liner brush to line really close to the lashes on the top lash line. Now I'm just going to curl my lashes 
and apply a coated mascara and I'm just using the Aqua Smoky Lash from Makeup Forever. I'm just gonna apply a set of just um, smaller lashes. Now I'm just going to take a makeup remover wipe and just wipe off some of the fallout from that copper color. For foundation I'm going to use the Makeup Forever HD foundation and I'm just going to use a rounded kabuki brush for this. This is the Sigma F82. Just using my concealer brush, I'm going to apply just a little bit of HD uh, concealer under my eyes. And I'm just going to blend that in using a large fluffy shader brush. I'm just going to apply some NARS Loose powder just in the areas that I need it, just using a powder brush. I'm gonna fill in my brows, and for that I'm gonna use what I usually use, Espresso from MAC. For a blush, I'm gonna use the color Sin from NARS, and just the NARS Kabuki brush. I'm just going to apply that in circular motions and then pulling back towards my hairline. For the lips, I'm going to start out with um, a lip pencil from MAC and this is Subculture. And then I'm just going to go over that with um, a gloss and this is a Crumsheen Glass from MAC and this is in the color Partial to Pink. So that completes the look. Um, something that's really daytime appropriate, but if you threw on a pair of really dramatic lashes, you could also wear it during the evening. It's really coppery and sultry, and it's pretty easy to do. I'll put a list of the products that I used on my blog, and I'll put a link to my blog below. And then you can click on the product. You can see a picture of the product up close and a description. And of course, all the products that I used, you can find on my website, beautybyviolet.com. I hope you guys have fun recreating this look, and thanks so much for watching, and I hope you subscribe. Bye!